Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Josh. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than we normally do, so bear with me and I hope you guys still enjoy. As you guys know, I usually do watch reviews and reveals and things like that of new watches that I've just gotten or have gotten requests for, but today I'm actually going to be showing you guys a watch that I'm going to be putting up for sale. It should be live around the same time as this video. And the reason I wanted to do this is because most of the sites where you can sell pre-loved goods, you're limited to like a dozen pictures and it's not really showing you all the detail of the item that you're getting, especially when it comes to things like watches. And because I have my YouTube channel and a lot of you guys have the same tastes and interests as I do, I thought I would just put up a video here in case any of you are interested in purchasing. So the watch that I'm going to be selling is a Seiko SBDC 051, and as some of you guys will know, I bought one for my husband John about two years ago for Christmas, and ended up loving his so much that I actually ended up about a year ago, back in January of 2020, I ended up getting one for myself as well. And I did a video about how it's like the perfect vintage style beater watch, which I still think is true, but then shortly after getting the watch and doing that video, I also ended up getting my Longines Legend, and um, this guy has just stolen my heart, and this has become, its this is probably my most worn watch for 2020, even more than my way more expensive watches. And just like the Seiko, it's a great daily beater with enough vintage flair to really make it feel special. And in the meantime, the Seiko here has just sort of been chilling out in my watch box, and I finally decided that I'm just not going to wear it. I just don't need it. And because I've only worn it maybe 10 times or so, I figured I would put it up for sale and see if there's any interest, if any of you guys want to purchase it or anything like that. Now, this guy has been worn, so there is going to be some cosmetic wear on it, notably scratching on the underside from when I got the watch and took off the bracelet and put on some other straps. Um, there's some wear on the crown as well, and then I've got a scratch here on the bezel. I really don't think it's that noticeable in real life. Again, it probably looks a lot worse because we're looking at it on camera super close up. And again, that was the whole point of this video. I want you guys to see how you know everything that you're going to actually be getting if you purchase this watch. Now, with that said, the bracelet and the clasp are all brand new. As you guys know, if you watched that video, I, as soon as I got the watch, I never intended to wear it on the bracelet. So the first thing I did was take off the bracelet, just keep that in the box, and I was wearing it on different kinds of leather straps um, because I wanted that vintage, kind of vintage beater look. Um, and so the bracelet and clasp themselves are still new, and they actually have all their original plastic and the tags and stuff like that. And of course, this guy will come with the original box and all the paperwork and the warranty card. And um, I actually still have, <laughs> I've still got the little Seiya Japan microfiber cloth. It did come from Seiya, my, my number one trusted JDM importer. And you will get all of this with the purchase of the watch, of course, as well. And finally, the sale of this guy will happen over on Poshmark.com and thus be subject to their terms and conditions. I apologize in advance. That means that right now the sale is only open to those of you who are in the United States because Poshmark does not ship internationally. Um, the reason I wanted to use Poshmark is because it does really make it a safer experience for everybody involved, both myself as a seller and any of you as a buyer. Um, I just didn't want to do like a, you know, contact me here on in, on YouTube and then we'll set up something via PayPal. No, I wanted to use an established marketplace like Poshmark and they are they are one of the best. So if you are interested in this watch, it'll be listed over on Poshmark for $575, again, to account for the cosmetic wear on it, which is $200 below Seiya's going rate for this same watch in brand new condition. And it's about $400 or so less than the $1,000 dollar SPB 051 price as you would pay from a Seiko retailer here in the United States. So yeah, I will publish the listing for the watch around the same time I publish the video. So by the time you are watching this here, it should be up and available for purchase if you are interested. If not, that is totally fine too. In that case, I, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. I may, <laughs> I may or may not have a very exciting green unboxing coming up in the next couple of weeks. So subscribe and turn on notifications for that. I, I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> what may or may not be coming in the mail to me. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you are having a great fall and winter. I will talk to you guys soon and take care.